President Barrow has told a meeting in Fonyi, Sibano, that his government has brought more development than the country has seen in the last 50 years. He promised to do more when his mandate is renewed in 2021 and that he will provide more villages with electricity before 2025. Details of that in this report by Omar Ahmad Toure. President Barrow said his government registered much development in four years under the coalition he headed and that has attracted people in the diaspora to come back home to seek jobs. He said this in itself is axiomatic and plain for all to see. Gambia has seen something that it never saw in 50 years. The work we are doing has been witnessed by all and that's why those sleeping has woken up. People in the diaspora are coming back to the country. There are people from England and America who are back in the country to look for jobs. So even the blind can see the work we are doing. He said the little development registered is just a beginning and that Gambia will see unprecedented development come 2021 when his party NPP forms the new government. Barrow has been criticized by the opposition for using the tour to campaign for votes. He, however, accused opposition parliamentarians of undermining his developmental plans as they think accepting his development proposals mean aiding his re-election. All this development we are doing, there is a big fight against us at the National Assembly. Because how others see things is that we cannot allow President Barrow to do all what he is doing as we are also eyeing for the presidential seat. If he should achieve all his development, we cannot defeat him at elections. Allowing him is like helping the president to retain power in the Gambia. Barrow promised the people of Fonyi that they will benefit from the second phase of the electricity project which will cover over 600 villages within the Combo and Fonyi. He reiterated that he has the interest of Gambia at heart and that whoever is in this government has to do so or be sat. For iAfrica TV, I am Omar Ahmad Toure.